वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स माई नेम इज कपिल एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट थ्री डी रेफरेंसिंग थ्री डी रेफरेंसिंग इज वन ऑफ द इजिएस्ट मैथड एंड इट इज अ प्रोडक्टिविटी टिप इन एक्सेल वाइल यू वर्क विद एक्सेल फॉर्मूलाज वट डू आई मीन लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दैट सो ऑन माई स्क्रीन इफ यू सी दैट आई हैव दीज शीट्स अवेलेबल लाइक सेल्स डेव सेल्स सैम सेल्स पॉल सेल्स कैरोलिना basically i got the numbers from each sales rep and they mentioned the numbers for each country and my format was same like i can see brazil here united states here india here china here and these all countries are listed in same sequence for other sales rep also but the numbers are different because it belongs to those sales rep now what i want to do i want to go to this sales total and i want to total all the numbers here okay so what i'll be doing i will be going like writing equal to sign then selecting each sheet and then selecting that cell then pressing like plus sign and then going to other sheet selecting the same cell from another sheet then putting plus sign again going back to sales pole then adding this number also and you can see before is coming from different sheet okay and then we selected this sales carolina and then i selected this b4 now let me press enter i can see i got the total and then i can copy this formula just select all these cells and then paste it but suppose if i would have known this 3d referencing then i would have used that and it will help me to speed up this process the reason is because i have these sheets right now i have only four sheets but when you are working with large spreadsheet when you have like multiple sheet 20 sheets is it really possible to select each sheet and getting total don't you think you will start getting frustrated am i right so in that case we will be using 3d referencing and today we are going to talk about that before i start talking about it i am requesting you to please subscribe my youtube channel and click on below bell icon to get the notification trust me we are going to learn lots of stuffs now let's understand on this sales total so here what i need to do i need to put equal to sign and you must have seen ranges like you type ranges like this b3 to b4 am i right you write ranges like this you putting colon between uh, the first cell and the ending cell am i right the same method we are going to use in 3d referencing how you need to do that put equal to sign here we can see my first sheet is sales dev okay but i can also see one space between sales dev if you have sheet names available with the spaces okay in that case you need to put single quotation mark okay like this and once you do that type sales dev and then you put another quotation mark and then you put this semicolon and then you type b4 okay and then you get the total so that is how you link the cell from another sheet but here we are going to put the range okay so here you need to put this this colon and then you need to select sales carolina so either you can write it caro lina let me write it and you can see it is starting from sales dev ending at sales carolina and here i can see colon mark and it is starting from single quotation mark if your sheet name does not contain the space okay then you do not need to use these uh, these quotation mark then it is okay and then you press enter okay it is showing me reference error the reason is because it is it became a range let me put some formula here and let me add this here and now let me press enter i got the total so that is the easiest method and let me create a copy of another sheet so move a copy create a copy i'm just putting it in between okay and if i insert any new sheet for the new sales rep okay my formula will automatically get updated you can see that let me put some big number here so that we can test it out and uh, let me put 2 lakh here okay and i can go back to this sales total and i can see this is this got updated so this will be making your job easy the reason is because you are using 3d referencing and any new sheet come into the picture you can put it in between that and that sales total will consider sales dev to sales carolina it is taking from starting from this sales dev and ending at sales carolina and it is considering this as a range okay and then getting the b4 right now we have used only this one cell let me copy this and paste it here control d and let me put 
some formula here okay uh, i can select all these cells the number is still big so let me delete this i hope you understood this concept now let me delete it and now it's good okay now here i got the total i'm just adding all these numbers with the help of some formula now i want to use ranges in my 3d referencing okay i will be using the same method okay let me copy this formula down here and put it here okay and i can see it is ending at b4 let me put b9 okay so basically it is starting from b4 b9 and selecting all these sheets and getting the total so you can see it is doing that so that is second method so that is how you can use ranges also with the help of 3d referencing and you can use some if formula or you can use any count if formula where wherever you are adding up numbers or you are getting some details you can do that with this formula so hope you like this trick now let's understand another thing suppose if you are not uh, like good in writing formula like this what you can do type equal to sign sum and then you want to get the total from sales dev okay like go to first sheet okay select all those numbers it is automatically selecting b4 to b b9 and press shift key okay and then select sales carolina all those four sheets got highlighted so basically what i have done i have selected the first sheet selected the range then select the last sheet by pressing shift key and it selected all those sheets and then i press enter now i, I got the total so these are three tricks which you can follow to uh, get the total now hope you like this now let's talk about another trick if you see this expense total this expense total sheet is not falling in between okay that is why i am getting these total numbers correct am i right but suppose somehow because of some of your requirement you put any other sheet in between these sheets okay let me put it in between that like sales dave to sales sam sales paul to sales carolina and here i can see expense total now if i see my numbers got updated and this will not be giving me the correct picture now what i want to do i want to use a formula without removing this sheet from this range and get the correct total how you can do that type equal to sign sum okay here you need to type single quotation mark and then you need to put this star sign it denotes the while character and now how you can use it you need to identify a common word on these sheets which we can write here here we can see sales is the common word so let me put sales then star symbol and then again ending this with quotation mark and then putting this uh, semicolon okay and here i will be selecting the range uh, the same range you can select uh, like b4 to b9 you can do that and then press enter once you do that you will be getting a total if you see on the top basically what it is doing it is starting from sales dave ending at sales sam okay and getting the range total for b4 to b9 then again converting the second range starting from sales paul to sales carolina and b4 to b9 range you can see and adding these numbers with the help of some formula so only one thing it is doing it is excluding this sheet name because it does not contain that sales so that is how you can play with these formulas hope you like this trick and now i want to give you a bonus trick now we are going to reverse this 3d referencing how you can do that suppose i want to apply a sum formula on each sheet on the same cell i need to select first sheet select last sheet and select the cell and write equal to sign sum and select that range okay and press enter once i do that let me go back to these uh, sheets can you see here i got the total on all the sheets so what i was doing on one sheet that got automatically applied on all other sheets so that is the bonus trick if you want to highlight color like if you want to use some other color on these headers let me select all these uh, sheets and let me change this color to green okay it is changed let me go to these sheets i can see on each sheet i can see my headers color got changed so that will be reverse 3d referencing hope you like this trick
please do not forget to subscribe my channel we are going to learn a lot about excel thanks for watching this video have a great day bye bye